Hey guys, I just want to show you my object detection tracking dashboard using YOLOR and DeepSort. So right over here, you can see that it's detecting a couple of cars, vehicles, and it's at a very low frame rate of 0.4 frames per second. So this is mainly because it's running off the CPU. So to get it faster, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here on this checkbox to enable the GPU. And right off the bat, you can see that it works much faster. Now what this web app is doing is that it's detecting a whole lot of classes, but I just want to detect only cars, for example. So I'm going to click this checkbox over here to use custom classes, cancel this, and let's select only cars. So what it'll do is that it'll only detect and track the classes that you specify right over here. Whenever the car passes this line over here, it'll calculate the speed and increment the count. So now there's a lot that you can do with this dashboard. So instead of having a bunch of digits like I do over here, you can create graphs and make it a bit more interactive. So say if you want to process the video and view it in real time, what you can do is click this button over here to save the video. And then once the video is processed, it'll say video is processed. And then you can view it in a separate folder. What's also really cool is that you can set the confidence over here. So I can make it really strict when it's closer to one. So it won't detect much. Or I can make it very loose. And in this case, it'll be more lenient when detecting different objects. Another really cool feature of this is that say if you want to import another video, we can simply drag and drop it right over here. So it'll upload and now it's not detecting anything because we still have our car class active over here. So I'm going to cancel that and make it only person class. So as you can see, it's only detecting people. But say if I want to detect only backpacks or luggage, for example, say in the case in airport security. So I'm going to cancel this and just look for backpacks as well as handbags. So as I've mentioned, this is pretty useful for the case at airport security where you want to monitor unattended luggage. And if you don't want to use a pre-recorded video, you can also use a webcam. At the moment, this is not working, but it will get it up and running very soon. Now, if you want to pull a dashboard like this from scratch, you can enroll in our Pro Yolo R Object Detection course called Yolo R Pro. Over here, you'll learn how to implement Yolo R from scratch, train it on a custom dataset, implement object tracking using Yolo R plus Deep Sort. In Module 4, you'll build your own Streamlit web app like I've shown you over here and build 8 plus Yolo R apps. These are just some of the many apps that you'll be building. So if you're ready to get started, you can scroll right up here to enroll right now. The links will be in the description down below.